Starting with the prompt, what does the text most strongly suggest about the story of this person? So let's go ahead and start reading. This text is from a novel translated by this person in this year. The story of this character that we intend to tell here, not for his sake, for the reader will come to know him as a perfectly ordinary, if engaging young man, but for the sake of the story itself, which seems to us to be very much worth telling, although in his favor it should be noted that it is his story, and that not every story happens to everybody. It is a story that took place long ago, and is, so to speak, covered with the blank of history, and must necessarily be told with verbs whose tense is that of the deepest past. So, we have an emphasis on the uniqueness of this person's story, because we're seeing that his story is very much worth telling, and not every story happens to everybody, but it's a story that took place long ago, and is covered with history. By the way, we don't care about words we don't know, because we'll get what we need anyway. And the story must be told with verbs whose tense is that of the deepest past. So in other words, it's a story that took place a long time ago, and the words being used have to be words from a long time ago, I guess, to tell the story properly. So let's start looking at the answers. Though it's true that the stories of even the most uninteresting people are themselves interesting, because all people are unique, the reason this story is interesting is nonetheless difficult to understand because of the passage of time. As opposed to the idea that this story is difficult to understand, I think what was being said was that this story needs the respect of being told in the language of its own time period. So, so far I don't like A. B. Even though it's a story of a person of no particular importance? Well, I think I do have a problem with describing the person of having no particular importance. The story describes him as very ordinary, but that's different than saying unimportant. So I think I would get rid of that. C. Like all stories about the lives of inconsequential people, this story must necessarily be related in a particular way if the reason the story is consequential, the reason it matters, is to be made evident to the audience. I don't necessarily see anything in the story that suggests that the story needs to be told a certain way or else the reader won't really know why it's important. So I might get rid of that as well. And D. It's a remarkable story that happened to an unremarkable person, though one could argue that because the story is valuable, some of its value accrues to the person at its center. So I'll tell you before we get into it that answer choice D ends up being the right answer. The reason I'm telling you that is because I don't necessarily love answer choice D. I just saw things that are wrong in the other answer choices even more. So it's a remarkable story that happened to an unremarkable person. So unremarkable as opposed to inconsequential and no particular importance. And I do see that difference in the text. What we're seeing is that he's 